Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. family. Uh, this is Briggs. I hope that you guys are doing well. Um, I wanted to take a chance uh, to welcome you to our uh, kind of virtual senior senior chapel. Uh, so as you all know, we've, we've come in contact with just an unexpected uh, interruption to our school year this year. Uh, and we're now at the end of it. Um, I hope that and I, and I pray that you guys as I said before, are doing well. Uh, we've been thinking about you as a staff. Uh, we love you guys, we miss you guys. Um, and so as I said, I wanna welcome you to our senior chapel. Um, as many of you know, every year we take time to honor our seniors. Uh, and so I wanna give a shout out to the class of 2020. Uh, you guys were my first class, the first classes I ever taught. Uh, you were in eighth grade when I started. Uh, at Lake Mead and I am just so so honored to still be here when you're graduating. Uh, I'm excited for you. I'm so sorry that it didn't turn out the way that you wanted or any of us wanted um, but we're, we're seeking to honor you still the same and so if you're watching with us you are going to get a chance to hear from our senior class um, our seniors are going to take turns sharing uh, wisdom that they've learned over the last several years of being at Lake Mead Christian Academy. Um, so I invite you to relax, um, to enjoy this time, and seniors, class of 2020, again, we love you, we're praying for you, um, we're excited to hear about your time at LMCA and what you've learned and the wisdom that you have to share now. So without any further ado, Let's get started. Hey seniors, I just wanted to say great job and that I'm so proud of the work that you've put in this year. None of us could have anticipated that the 2020 school year would go this way, but you have all taken it in stride and continued to work hard and finish the year strong. And for that, I'm thankful. We don't know what the future holds, but we know that with God, all things are possible. And whether or not you go into a vocation or you go to college or you stay home for a semester or you just continue to work, let God use you in everything that you do. Remember the things that have been taught in worldview, that have been taught in science, have been taught in Bible class, in history class, in English class. Remember those principles that these teachers have taught and instilled in your hearts and in your minds. Never forget that Lake Mead is here for you and that we're your family and that no matter where you are in your walk, no matter where you are in the United States or even in the world, that Lake Mead Christian Academy is your home and that we're always here to help, serve, and pray for you. We love you and I love you guys and I pray for you and pray that your the next years of your life will be the greatest that you've had. Seniors, we hope you enjoy your senior chapel as we share thoughts of appreciation with you and you guys share thoughts and your future plans with us. We are proud of you, the way you have pushed through in these last couple months with a positive attitude. 
we also want to let you know that we appreciate all the ways you've contributed to Lake Mead Christian Academy through athletics, fine arts, student council, National Art Society, robotics, and all other aspects. You guys have been a great senior class and we appreciate what you have contributed. And we pray that it, as you go into the future, that you will seek God and seek his will. Remember the Bible says to trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him and he shall direct thy paths. It also says that God works all things together for good to those that love him and to those that are the called according to his purpose. Love God, seek his will, and he will bless you day by day. As you go into your future, remember to love and serve others well and to love and serve God. We love you. Enjoy your senior chapel. Hi, LMCA. I miss you all so much, and I so wish that we did not have to be doing this online right now, but here we are in our makeshift senior chapel, so thank you for joining us. For so many years, I have sat and watched the seniors do their senior chapel, and I've looked up to them and wondered what I was going to say at my senior chapel. Here we are, online at home. <laughs> but I've been going to LMCA since kindergarten, and I have loved my experience here. You guys have made my experience amazing and I am so 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 thankful for that. Uh, I have two pieces of advice for you today. I can't sit here and pretend like I know everything and that I know exactly what you're going to go through in your high school but I don't. I don't know that and I just want to tell you a few things that I wish I knew and I want you to know. Whether you're going to be a senior, whether you're starting high school, or whether you're going into middle school, I want you to enjoy your life. That's actually one of my pieces of advice. Enjoy your time. It goes way faster than you know. Don't sit there and wish that you were a senior or wish that you were older. I always did that my whole life. I've always wished I was older. I always wish I was this, this, and that. Don't do that. You are amazing the way you are, and you are going to enjoy your time here if you make it enjoyable. So enjoy the small things. Don't sit there and wish that you were in a different grade. And my second one is, uh, yes, get involved with everything and do everything that you want to do, but do not tire yourself out. I always tired myself out and burnt the candle on both ends, but don't do that. It's okay to get involved in so many things. It's great, actually. Please do that. Join all the sports. Join fine arts. Do everything, but take time for yourself. Know your boundaries. Know when you need to go to bed. It's not the end of the world. You'll be okay. So enjoy your time because it goes way faster than you know it. And rest. It's okay. It's not the end of the world. You can go to sleep, but be involved as well. Don't think I'm not saying to get involved. I love you all so much. I wish that I could still be with you and give you all a big hug, but I am happy to announce that I am going to be going to UNLV for the fall of 2020 to major in hospitality management. Thank you. See you all later. Bye. Hey guys, uh, I'm JP. Uh, I've been going to LMCA for about three years now. Um, transferred from Foothill High School to here. Uh, I want to leave saying a couple things. One of them is uh, when you're going through something tough in life, in that deals with school, with family, with friends, never be afraid to talk to anybody about what's going on. Um, bring those people in that are closest to you and talk with them they are there for a reason God put them in your life for a reason uh, they're there to help you grow to help you through anything um, talk to reach out to people don't be afraid you're not a burden to anyone um, another thing is don't be afraid to do any sports or clubs or any other extracurricular activities they're actually really fun uh, they open your world to a whole new light you uh, meet a lot new a lot of new friends you do you get to experience a lot of new experiences that you never really would have been able to if you don't do it so 
Uh, biggest part for me was sports. It was a great activity to do, distract myself, made a lot of new great friendships. So thank you guys. I miss all you guys. Hey guys, it's Liliana reporting to you live from quarantine. Um, they told us to wear hoodies or a shirt of where we're going to college. I'm going to UNLV, but I don't have a shirt. Um, I just wanted to say thank you to everyone that made my time at LMC amazing. Um, I'm so glad I got to make relationships with people here. Um, thank you all for loving me. I love you guys, and I promise I'll visit. Bye. Everybody, it's Karina. I hope that you have all stayed safe. And I just wanted to say a couple things about high school. Though I've only gone to LMCA for two years, I've learned so much and I'm so grateful for all of my teachers and classmates and just the entire school. Um, I have learned to love everyone, even though that may be hard sometimes, it's essential to becoming a godly person and just becoming a better person in general. I hope that you all can try to do this your next few years throughout high school or for juniors if it's your last year or even middle schoolers. Thank you. Bye. So hello LMCA and welcome to our senior chapel. So thank you for watching first of all. My name is Allie and I will be attending UNLV this fall. I'll be majoring in biology with the hopes of joining the medical field later on. So my piece of advice that is actually very helpful for our situation right now, but I learned my freshman year, I moved from Costa Rica and I left my mom and my family and my friends, which was very difficult. I went from seeing my mom almost every day to seeing her two or three times a year. And how I dealt going through that was keeping in contact. And that's my main advice right now is how to keep that connection and that friendship and just that same bonding that you guys had in person, how you can still keep it while this COVID-19. How I dealt with this is I sometimes don't talk to my friends every day, to be honest with you, or my mom. What I do is we just talk once in a while and it still keeps our connection strong. Even if it's just a good morning, hope you're doing okay, love you, miss you, let me know if you need anything, or just from a two minute FaceTime call a day or once a week is so important for the relationship. And it really helped me a lot because when I got back home and when I saw my friends and my family, it's like if I had never left. And that's how I want it to be with everyone when they go back to their normal lives too. So I just wanted to let you know that keep connected with your friends and your family who you can't see right now because it is so, so important. And even that one message a week or one FaceTime or that good morning text or good night text that you're thinking about them will make you feel like a better person and a good friend and it will make them feel like you care. And maybe if they're going through a tough time, it will brighten their day. You never know. So I just wanted to let you know to keep in contact and thank you for watching. Hi LMCA. I just wanted to say that I'm so grateful for every moment that I've had at the school. They've grown me in so many ways and I wouldn't change any of it for a second. If I were to give anyone any advice, I'd have to say, try new things and dive into everything that you do. My time here would not have been as fun if I wouldn't have put myself out there and taken new opportunities, even if I could have never pictured myself doing that thing. Try and involve yourself in as many different things as possible, finding your people and your passion, and please do not be afraid to pursue them. With that though, please be kind to yourselves. Know your limits, set boundaries, don't burn yourselves out, and please sleep. I know that I didn't do those things and it cost me many tears and many wasted hours stressing out. My next and final piece of advice is to get to know your teachers. Many of the teachers over the past few years have become my mentors and even my friends, and they've poured so much love and care into me and their classrooms and all their students. It is so worth getting to know them on a personal level. I promise they care about you so much more than you know. That's pretty much all I have to say, so I guess this is goodbye. I love all of you. Hi LMCA, friends, family, uh, whoever's watching this. I am the new senior this year. 
the only one. Woo! <laughs> so, I have no clue what's going on right now, and it's all new. So I can't wait to see what happens with the senior chapel, because I've never seen one in my life, to be honest. Um, this past school year has been one of the best in my life, to be honest. I've made great friends, met some awesome people, and made even better memories, <laughs> and I wouldn't trade them for the world. Um, this school has so much to offer between dance, uh, sports, theater, you name it, it's probably there. And it's such a great opportunity to learn from and grow. And I love watching them because it's so diverse and it's so interesting. And I'm really sad that um, this spring season has been canceled because Corona. But I thank you guys so much for welcoming me with open arms. It meant so much to me on the first day. <laughs> uh, but I can't wait to see what happens in the future. Bye! Hey guys, um, I'm gonna be honest, not how I thought my senior speech would be like or would look like, but here it is. Also, didn't think this would be my senior year, but <laughs> here it is. So I mean, I guess it's cool making history, even though my year suffered. I guess that's just a perk, I guess. I don't, I got to make history this year, which is cool, even though it sucked. Um, I wanna start off by thanking every, everybody who walked through the halls with me throughout my four years of high school, because you've probably impacted me in some way and shaped me to be who I am today. And I can't be more thankful for walking through the halls with you guys. Um, I also want to thank the staff for sure. I got to build amazing relationships with you guys and it's been a great high school year. Thank you guys for putting up with me, even though you probably didn't want to. So thank you guys for that. I also want to thank the school for existing because like I said, if I wasn't going to the school, I don't think I'd be here today. But this is pretty awesome that I got this opportunity to be a part of this school and this ministry. And lastly, I want to say thank you to my family for sacrificing so much for me. Thank you guys. This will be all for me. Hey guys, it's Chloe. Um, welcome to Senior Chapel this year. Um, it's definitely been a year to remember um and i'm really glad i got to be doing it with all of you and learning from you guys has been one of my favorite things um but here's some things that i've learned over the past four years and that i hope you guys can learn and um help you out a little bit um the first thing is about leadership I know it's kind of weird because like not everyone's like a leader type person but it is important to know that no matter who you are or what grade you're in or what age you are or anything like that you are impacting someone in some way and it's important to set a good example for other people because there's always going to be one person watching you and looking up to you and yeah, um, so just like making sure you're a good example and setting good paths for the other people that might be watching you is one thing that I've learned, especially this past year. Um, I really wish I would have learned that sooner because it's kind of really important and it does set a culture and kind of like a, a ripple effect, I guess. Uh, the next thing is do not be afraid to try new things. Like, literally. I think our class is a good, good example of that. Just seeing how diverse and what we do and everything like that. Like, it's so fun being involved and it makes your high school experience so much better. But it's re it's really up to you. Don't be pressured to do anything. But I did sports and I'm not very athletic. So 
I like it's really just like being a part of families and I've made so many new friends and families just being involved in the school and I know that's like so overdone because it's said at every senior chapel but it's so important and I think everyone should be a part of something in some way but that's it <laughs> um the next thing is to never give up on yourself I do that a lot when I don't want to keep trying or I'm, I'm tired or just any excuse I can come up with and I can give up on myself I will do because it's I don't know I get lazy <laughs> um but don't give up on yourself there is so many good opportunities coming for you and there's so many paths you could take and if you give up on yourself you never know what you're truly capable of or what you can do and I really want to see you all succeed and hear great stories about you in the future so don't give up on yourself and the last thing is never forget that you are enough um this one is kind of really important to me especially because I feel like it's so easy to get lost in a crowd or just drown yourself in anything that you can in school especially like you can just lose yourself and I want you all to know that you are enough to everyone and that your worth is not something that changes or is based off of anything like your worth is just a set thing and that you are enough and you are a good enough person um with that i love you all so much and i hope you're all doing well in quarantine um I'll... i love you guys so much bye hi my name is cassie and i've been going to lmca since the sixth grade i came to the school only knowing two other people and being anxious about what the year will bring i was and still am not a social person and i like to keep to myself most of the time but everyone welcomed me with open arms and made me feel like a part of their family, even if they only knew me a couple hours. There is one thing that has stuck with me through the years, and it's this. Do something. Join a sport, a club, maybe audition for one of the shows. Do whatever interests you. I've done a lot within the seven years that I've been attending this school. I wasn't the best at everything, but I liked everything I did. I did volleyball, basketball, cheer, and theater. And through doing all of those things, I found that my passion is fine arts. With that being said, I am pursuing fine arts in college and I'm hopefully going to make a career out of it. So you never know what you're going to like and be good at. So try everything until you find something that sticks. Thank you all for making my high school experience so great and I hope to see you all soon. Bye. Hi LMC family, welcome to our senior chapel. I can't believe that we are graduating this month. I know it sucks. I wish we could have more time together, but here what it is. We have to stick through it and we have to go through it. And I know we got this. So I just want to thank um, all the people that I've met throughout my four years of high school here. Thank you for everything that you guys have done for me. All the good memories and all the relationship that we've built together. Without you guys, I don't believe I can be the person who I am today. And like, thank you so much for my family who's supporting me and like trusting me, giving me a chance to study abroad. I know it's hard, but thank you so much. Like, I'm happy to announce that I'm going to UNLV in the fall of 2020, majoring in architecture. So that's it. Hi, welcome to chapel. Let me start off with saying, which I'm sure a lot of people will say, is this is not how I thought my senior year would have gone. <laughs> um, a lot of things happened this year, a lot of really good things, and it started off really strong, and then it just <laughs> went downhill. But, you know, sometimes you just got to go with the flow, and you just got to pray through those situations. And, yeah, that's, I did a lot of that. Um, sometimes things just don't go as planned and that's okay because you're supposed to learn from every situation that you uh, go through and are currently in so I loved high school uh, it was it was fantastic I mean as good as high school can get I guess 
I, I did a lot of things and be sure you always are involved because being more involved keeps you busy and right now I'm not busy and I wish I was <laughs> but for those of you underclassmen be sure to take every moment of high school and make some good memories but you are going to make more you're gonna make dozens of more memories and high school will be a blur but you'll remember those people that you cared about and you love. So, class of 2020, I love you guys. I really hope and wish that we had more time together towards the end of this year, but I'm sure that we'll make some more time soon and make those memories. Hey, Link Me. Though I wish more than anything I could be saying this in front of you on stage, I'm glad I get to say it to you in some capacity. In these past three years at Lake Mead, I've learned some important things that honestly, if I hadn't, my high school experience would have been completely different. First, any opportunity you have, take. You have an amazing community behind you that will support you in all of your endeavors and will help you make it work. <laughs> Whether it be dance and theater or athletics and student council, you can do what you wanna do. Don't, block, don't let typical limitations stop you from doing what you love. Second, the relationships you make at Lake Mead are incomparable to relationships you could have made anywhere else. The relationships I have with my teachers, with my classmates, with underclassmen, I wouldn't change them for the world. I've learned so much from every single person I have had a conversation with or a deeper relationship with here at Lake Mead. It's not something you find at every place, so take advantage of it. Learn from those trying to mentor you and reach into your life. Learn important lessons so that you come out of Lake Mead a better person. I am so thankful for everything I've been able to experience at Lake Mead and all the opportunities I've been blessed with. And I know that I'm walking out of high school, the person I am today, not just because of me, but because of the community I was a part of. Thank you all for the great memories and changing me for the better. Hi Lake Mead. I've been going to LMCA for the past four years and I am very, very satisfied with my high school experience. I had a lot of fun. It has been truly a really, really great four years and I wouldn't trade them for the world. So as I am preparing to move on and no longer be a high schooler, this is, I have two pieces of advice for the rest of you who still have a bit of time left at LMCA. And number one is going to be get involved somewhere. Find something that you love to do that makes you want to come to school every day and try new things. I did theater, I did robotics, I did student ministry, and it made my time at Lake Mead a lot more valuable to me because on top of all of the school, on top of all of the people that I got to be surrounded with, I knew I had purpose. Um, so that's number one, find somewhere that you want to get involved. And number two is be kind because you don't know how much a person is going to need the kindness that you could give them in a day. Um, kindness is a skill. It's really easy to be nice, but to learn how to be kind is something that you have to commit to, but it is very rewarding to see the way that you can impact people's lives by just a smile in the hallway, a kind word, you know. So. Thank you, Lake Mead. Thank you to all of the people here. I'm going to miss it here. Hi, my name is Caitlin Stansbury, and I will be attending the University of Charleston all the way in West Virginia to be a nurse. As some of you may or may not know, I moved here in September of 2017 from New Jersey. And that was one of the hardest years of my life because I was going through all of these changes and new experiences and being a new student in such a small school was hard for me. I made wrong choices and I didn't really know who I was. 
but this school helped me find who I was and who I wanted to be for my future. I get to choose my path and it did take a few trial and errors, but I'm so happy with who I have become. This year I started theater and that is something that has really recast my life. <laughs> I made so many new friends and I met so many people who I get to call my family. And I still have best friends outside of theater who have different passions and hobbies as I do. And this is what I love about this school. No matter who you are or where you come from, you will always be accepted. One piece of advice that I would like to leave with you guys is that you do not need to know who you are right away. I found myself the last year of high school and it couldn't have been a more perfect time. Don't put pressure on yourself thinking that you need to have your life all figured out once you start high school. You have four years to figure that out and even time in college. You will be okay. <laughs> Thank you to everybody who has helped me through these three years and for opening up your heart to me when I needed it the most. Thank you for my teachers for always believing in me and for all of the friends I have made for the love and support you have shown me. I have created memories here the past few years that have shaped who I am and I will always be thankful for my times that I've shared at LMCA. Thank you guys and stay safe at home. Bye! Hi, my name is Henry David Millen and I'm part of the graduating class of 2020 here at Lake Mead Christian Academy. Um, I've spent the past six years here and I just want to thank all the teachers, all the faculty here uh, for everything that I have done for this school and for me and you have taken a great part in the molding of who I am today and I will forever be thankful for that and uh, I hope for the best for you guys. Uh, for my classmates, I love you, I, I miss you guys, um, I hope for nothing less than the best for you guys and I'm excited to see what you guys do in this world. Uh, because I've already seen you guys do great things. When you guys apply yourself and you guys really put yourself into something, the outcome is always outstanding and it always leaves me in shock and, and how amazing it is. And so I will always be uh, cheering you guys on every step of the way and whatever you guys do. And I'm just excited to see it. I'm sorry that we couldn't spend more time together. I wish that there was something that we could do, uh, but unfortunately, this is what we have and we just have to stick our head up and uh, we have to push through it. There's nothing else we can do. To, our, to my parents, uh, I love you guys genuinely so much. You guys have been through so much pain and heartache for me and the least I can be is thankful and grateful and apply myself and so I, I'm grateful to say that I'm going to college. Uh, all of this paid off. I'm going to UNLV. Uh, at least currently um, and I love you thank you to the students uh, I love you all thank you all for doing everything that you have done for me around me with me uh, I will miss you guys I will miss the family I have here uh, just I just want to ask that you guys take advantage of the school and do the best that you can love you guys Hi LMC families and welcome to our makeshift senior chapel. For years I've watched the senior chapels and thought about what do I want to say. And so I think that I've come up with three things that I want to share with the Lake Mead community. And first I want to say always appreciate your staff. Your teachers work so hard. They not only grade papers and deal with our attitudes but our teachers at LMCA do life with us and they invest in us. And so that's so much sacrifice that's being made just to be here and just to love us as students. And so never take advantage of that. Second, um, I wanted to say always get involved. You have no idea what you're gonna love unless you try it. I was a competition dancer for so long, thought that's what I was gonna do forever. Little did I know that there was a whole nother world um, that I found in musical theater with the theater department. And so always try things, try new things, get involved, find that community. And last, I wanted to say, always influence the little people, the little people, the younger 
kids, the middle schoolers, all of them are so much cooler than you think they are, I promise. Some of my closest friends are middle schoolers and freshmen and even sixth graders. And so always be an influence and speak into their life because you have no idea what you could do in their life and who you could be. So always get involved with those kids. I love them all so much and they really just need good voices speaking into their lives. And so I encourage you to do that. Um, yeah, like I said, I'm a senior. I'm going to Texas Tech University with a BFA in musical theater. And I'm super excited for the next four years and to come back and see all of you guys and where you're gonna be at. So thank you very much for watching this. That's it. Congratulations, class of 2020. How grateful I am to have walked this journey with you for the last four years. You are definitely an uncommon class of a, a lot of strength and ability and wisdom and knowledge, and it's been a joy to be with you. Just a couple last things to say. I've said pretty much everything that needs to be said for the last four years, but I just want to leave you with some thoughts. First of all, and keep this in context, uh, your grades after high school and college really don't matter. They have been kind of an artificial metric way of measuring your success, what you knew and what you didn't know, and, and, um, and you knew when the tests were going to happen and when the quiz and assignments were going to happen. But the real measure of who you are and what you know now comes through what you've learned in life and the decisions that you make based on what you know. Um, life is going to be unplanned tests and um, we're going to see how you respond to those things day by day. And the second thing is that we haven't taught you everything. We've tried to teach you a lot, but your whole life you're going to learn and grow and deepen and widen in ways that you never expected. You will always be a student. You'll learn to be a student of your family, of your friends, of your clients, of your patients, and um, they're going to be uh, needing to have you a student of the Word in order to help and care for them and to give them wise and godly counsel. So be a student and be teachable your whole life. And the third thing I want to remind you of is out of Matthew 16, 25, that hallmark verse that talks about um, whoever saves his life will lose it, but he who loses his life for Christ's sake will gain it. We've been spending the last seven weeks trying to save or salvage what um, you have so rightly deserved, so richly earned, and your whole life will be about uh, wanting to hold on to those things. Um, but Christ calls us to something high, higher, and he asks us to lose our life, our dreams, our plans, sometimes for his sake. My mentor once told me to make sure to hold everything loosely. That doesn't mean making plans or holding relationships, but it just means to be willing to relinquish them at the time that God asked to remove them from your life. Um, it's easier to, to hand them over to a loving God who knows what he's doing than to hold on tightly. And lastly, um, when energy and time and your bank account and your relationships are depleted, Please remember that God's grace and love and mercy is never exhausted and there is more than enough for you for as long as you live. We love you very much and we're going to continue to walk with you and pray for you in this journey. Congratulations. Well seniors, today is it. Um, happy Senior Chapel Day. It's your last day of high school. I still can't believe that um, it looks like this, um, but I am so proud of the ways that you guys have handled this last quarter. Um, but we're not going to spend time um, today talking about everything that you didn't have or get this, um, this last quarter. Um, today is Senior Chapel, and we're going to celebrate you. So I'm grateful for all the videos you put together to make this memory for yourself. You know, this class is so special. Over the past month, um, as I have told you, so many of us that work at Lake Mead have talked over and over again about how to celebrate you, how to make sure that you feel loved and you know how much you are loved by the people here at Lake Mead. And as we have this last senior chapel in a weird format, I pray that it's something that you can save and listen to over and over again. 
as we just share um, some last words with you and so do your fellow classmates. So a few things I wanted to leave you with as I think about um, just some last words. Um, thank you for investing so well, you guys, seriously. When I think about who makes up the class of 2020 at Lake Mead, I just see the word investment all over the place. You have loved and invested in this place and people so incredibly well. Thank you, seriously. Um, you know, letting other people define who you are is incredibly debilitating. Don't ever do that. Be your own person. We have talked about becoming the best version of yourself a lot, right? The best version of yourself is just yet to be discovered and worth working towards every day of your life. That means when you're away from home and you're making decisions on your own, go to church, find the therapist. Read a book because you don't have to. Call your mentor before you make big decisions. These are all things that we've talked about, but I never want you to forget. Um, you guys, above all, um, just be like Jesus and not necessarily like his followers. You know, when you are let down by people and in particular Christians, remember a phrase I said in Bible a few weeks ago, that's not God, that's not Jesus. Um, that thing that happened to you, that issue you had is not Jesus. You know, I love my job. I love you all so much. Love what you do for work one day. You should always look forward to Mondays and not just look, look forward to Fridays. Um, find your purpose and live it. We are committed to that for you. You know, one of the worst set of words ever spoken is God doesn't give you more than you can handle. Maybe you guys have heard that before. But with that said, through the unbearable pain that's inevitable in life, God promises to never leave your side. And that, my friends, has proved to be true in all of the people um, that love you so much and have walked alongside you. There are three words that make all the difference in the world. And I'm going to write this down for you and keep telling you um, with how they're ordered. Belong, believe, behave. Belong. You always have a spot here in this community, no matter what, you guys. Believe. We challenge you and have for years to continue to know what you believe and why. And finally, behavior. It Behavior is not the most important thing in the Christian life. And I hope that you're not ever leaving um, Lake Mead with that. I pray that you were able to look back on your time at Lake Mead and see how blessed you were to be in a community that really loved you. And I know sometimes that love didn't look like you wanted to. It might have looked like a suspension or a detention or whatever. Um, but it's a place that loves people. You are leaving as our friends and um, people who we are hoping always knows that Lake Mead is a second home and that the relationships with adults you have developed here are yours for life. Oh, and just a few things before I finish. Please, please, please don't forget premarital counseling is important. Don't forget it. There's no such thing as drinking too much coffee. And the Enneagram is not weird, so just learn to love it. I love you guys. Class of 2020, it's been so much fun to read your Facebook posts and to hear a little bit about what's ahead for you. And all that you've shared in the Senior Chapel just is so inspiring as we just think about what's ahead for you. You all, no matter if you've been here just for a, a short time or you've been here literally since you were a baby, you have been such a great group of kids in high school and been so invested in trying so many different things and just taking advantage of what Lake Mead has to offer. And so that's wonderful because that's the way to do high school. Just to try a little bit of everything and just have a good time exploring your talents, your gifts, and your abilities. So we are absolutely thrilled. Um, to bring you to this point of graduation and to be able to give you a great send off into a future that's bright and promising. One of the things that is uh, stated about our alumni is that tradition never graduates and so you'll always be a part of us and I hope you know that we're a family to you. Moms and dads, we thank you so much for the opportunity to have been a part of your young person's life. You have given us the opportunity to have influence in their life, and we really do not take that lightly. So thank you very much for the partnership. And I pray that you know that we are always here for you as well. Um, we love your children, 
and we are just absolutely thrilled that your family has been a part of the Lake Mead experience. So now we're going to enjoy a slideshow and really just rejoice in all they got to experience.
Well, hey, senior class of 2020, I know none of us expected the year to end the way that it has, but really life is really like that. You know, we never know what is around the corner, but what we hope you've learned here at Lake Mead is that there is someone who holds that future in his hand. And so as you've been introduced into a relationship with Jesus, God made that possible that we could have that walk with him if we'll draw near to him. So we pray that as you take these steps away from your high school, and into the next part of your life, that you never walk away from Jesus. Lake Mead will always be your family. We love you. You're welcome back at any time. Being an alumni is just a great honor because the school and all it stands for is a wonderful, wonderful thing. So we pray that you feel comfortable to come back at any time. We pray that you would just uh, develop your relationship with Jesus as you go into this next chapter. And no matter what turn of life comes, you would just uh, realize that God is with you. God loves you. God has a dream and a beautiful plan for your life. And if you draw near to him, he'll draw near to you. Don't ever forget that, seniors. Hey, let me pray for you as we uh, as we wrap up our time together. Father, in Jesus' name, I pray for every senior in this class. God, I know that they fought through disappointment and some uh, of the discouragement of the events that they missed out on in their fourth quarter of their senior year. Uh, Lord, I know that it's been difficult to be at home um, and to be away from friends and to miss out on some of those things. But Father, um, God, we know that even though there's disappointment in life, that there are things that we can count on, things that can encourage us. And God, that's you. God, you loved us so much. And you sent your son Jesus to die for us. And I just pray that uh, these students would just remember the voice of the shepherd, that when there's tons of voices saying all kinds of things, that they would remember the good shepherd's voice that calls out to his sheep. And it calls us into green pastures and still waters where we can find our souls restored. And no matter what scary things might be in our tomorrow, help us to remember that you are the God who can overcome any challenge. If we trust in you, will be in this, in, under the shadow of your wings. I thank you for that relationship we have in you. And I pray for these, these seniors that as they graduate, they'll never forget those lessons. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Love you guys.